extremely good. On page 260, page 261, he says, Natural theology held as a central premise that the works of nature not only demonstrated God's presence, but could also reveal his character as well. That was a key of Paley's argument. And on page 262, we must also be able to infer important aspects of God's nature and character from the works of creation. Now, that was Paley's argument from the watchmaker. Evolution has come along and said, no, there is no watchmaker. And if there is a watchmaker, Richard Dawkins made this extremely famous in his book, The Blind Watchmaker, a very excellent text. I highly recommend you read that book. Seriously. It will correct many misperceptions we Christians have built up through the years because we are falsely supposing that evolution is the enemy to fight. And we're doing a doggone lousy job of it. Because evolution has essentially won the day. But it's not the enemy. Evolution is the friend. And I want to try to show you why and how we are all fighting the wrong enemy. In this science versus religion war, the whole setup of science versus religion is all wrong. That is not the correct way to approach this. Not at all. Ken Miller, Finding Darwin's God, shows the beautiful power of really recognizing that the evolutionary view of nature is correct, even with all its ugliness, with its lack of purpose and direction, with its death, its waste, its astonishing carelessness, its amorality. Even this really does give us a clue as to the nature and character of God. Now that's probably going to shock you at first. Hopefully through the course of these videos, I will be able to explain that to you. These videos are going to, this series, unfortunately, you know, like, like typical, this series will probably be a little bit longer than normal. Uh, I'm probably going to do 20 or 30 of these, I'm sure, because I want to spell this out explicitly. We are setting ourselves up for failure as a religious people if we make the assumption that in the inadequacies of scientific explanation of whatever natural cause or natural situation out there, if science can't explain it, then that's proof that God did it. We are setting ourselves up for pure atheism. The enemy of religious faith right now in this evolution versus God war is not the scientists, it is us, because we misconstrue how the argument is set up. And you will end up losing faith in God if you persist in the way we're fighting evolution. Trying to get it legalized in the schools and on and on and on. We will lose the war. We will lose many, many people onto a subject that is not necessary, namely atheism. I have nothing against the atheists. I just think their assumptions are incorrect. But the way we religious people have set up this war with evolution, atheism is the logical conclusion from evolution. If we keep misunderstanding the way we are. And the intelligent designers are not helping us. Neither did the scientific creationists. First in order is to give evolution its proper due.
because it has the evidence. You cannot ignore that anymore. It is absolutely overwhelming how powerful evolution is right now. Don't let that offend you. Get it to excite you. Because true religion will not contradict true science. But our assumptions about what is true religion and what is true science and our assumptions of the kind of God we think God is are completely wrong. And I'm talking about the Western Judeo-Christian God. That's the one I'm talking about. He really is everything we believe. We just misunderstand some things that we need to straighten out. That's what I want these videos to do. And it's going to take some doing. I'm going to have several, oh boy, I'm going to have several videos on this particular series because I have to read in detail, I have to read uh, a lot of material for the Mormon side of things as well as for the Christian side of things from uh, Stephens and Meldrum for the Mormons and from Ken Miller for the Christians. <laughs> First I'm going to sneeze my brains out and then I'll do some brain dead analysis. And I'm sure there are some evolutionists out there who's going to think, yeah, this idiot's going to mix science and religion. Oh no, I'm not. I'm going to give you proper evolution. The stuff that is the basis of our reality in this world. I'm not going to hold back on that. I'm going to promote that. Truly, you just watch. <laughs>